two pound burger man. You're the two pound burger man? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm funny man, J Dog. All right, funny man, J Dog. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right, guys, we are hanging out here at the Hollywood Undead concert right behind their tour bus, and I have found three members of the band. How are you guys doing? We're good. All right. Good. Could I have you uh, personally introduce yourself to our viewers and uh, tell us your role in Hollywood Undead? I'm Johnny Three Tears. I do vocals. I'm funny, man, and I just ate a two pound burger. Oh, yeah. Uh, J Dog, and I ate a three pound burger. I did it on stage last night, too. <laughs> no, they really did. What's that place called? King Kong. Yeah. I went to King Kong. That hamburger was. Super, giant. super Kong burger with bacon. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Wasn't Woo. easy. Gonna Gotta get you. <laughs> gonna make it tonight? Yeah, I should. This will be kind of a fun one here. Uh, who in the band has a, a guilty pleasure of some sort? Maybe like, like some Miley Cyrus or whatever. He jerks off too much. <laughs> Chokes himself out while he does it too. We have to hide our belts because he uses them to strangle himself. Oh yeah. So we have to hide our belts at night. We got like a little safe case. <laughs> we lock our belts up in. <laughs> It's quite a story out there. Yeah. All right. The truth, motherfucker. <laughs> it's the truth. There you go. Um, so, how did Hollywood Undead come together and get started? Um, well, me and this guy and Charles, we we were in a band a long time before this. Funny was our like biggest cheerleader. He'd always be at the shows, kicking it. We're like, dude, let's start a new band. We said, hey, hey, bro. Well, it's more of like, Matt's job than mine. Shows. I'm saying. Like okay, he was kicking it okay. at the shows. Sorry, sorry, didn't mean to interrupt. Go ahead, finish okay. your story. I didn't mean it. So we uh, we we kind of went through the whole process that most bands go through, and I think we had given up at that point. So we started Hollywood Undead, kind of just to write music that we like to write mm -hmm. and add the things we like to it. And you know, we got successful to one degree or another. Yeah, and I heard your album went gold. How does that feel that your music? is being listened to by that many people. Feels normal. Feels normal? Yeah. Feels all right? Yeah. I think it feels great. Especially after a two pound burger. Thanks, kids. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think our parents when, we, when we hung our plaques, I put mine up on my bed. He didn't like that. He thought that was uh, cocky. I thought it was cool. <laughs> that was the first time you had a bed in a while. You hung it above uh, the couch that he lived on at first. <laughs> <laughs> hung it above his box. Yeah, I had a gold record and I still lived on a couch. Where Yours is in the bathroom. Mine's in the bathroom above my toilet. Um, so you can look at it all the no, way. Because every time like, girls come over, they have to use the bathroom, so oh. they, they're going to see it no matter what. Uh, but his is above his bed now. It's like the cockiest move ever. <laughs> but I did it just because of that. <laughs> just because you're that cool. No, just to like annoy people. Like People see that, they're just like, what a dick. And I'm like... I read online, I thought this was really interesting. You guys went from various labels and you refused to, to sign with the label that would not censor your music. Is that right? Well, we were on a label and we refused to release the record the way they wanted to. So we said, we're just going to leave. And I mean, that, the whole process was difficult, but it was like, yeah, they wanted to chop the record in half and like re-record a bunch of material. And we're like, well, we're not going to change it because we were trying to be somewhat honest and stuff like that. So it, it took a, a couple years longer than it would have if we had just said, hey, OK, we'll do what you want, you know? And why was that important to you? Why did you want them to release it the way you did it originally? Well, I feel that, you know, the record was, the whole the whole idea is to express yourself, and if you hide that expression, what's the point in making music at all? Where did you get the name Hollywood Undead? Well, this guy over here, decided, he called the first song Hollywood, named the band Undead, and then he brought it over to his roommate's pad, said, here, check my this out. Pad. Your roommate's pad. So like I mean, your, pad, uh, oh yeah, your neighbor's pad, sorry. Excuse me. I'm, dude, I'm seriously, like, Getting a little nauseous here from that burger. I'm not kidding. I'm feeling funny. You need to run off at some point. That's that's hey, fine. Yeah. I'm gonna go chill. Nice bad. I'm gonna go chill. It. <laughs> Let, dude, fuck. <laughs> I give up. You finish the story. Well, I brought it over to my roommate's pad, who lived next to my neighbor. And then my neighbor read it, and he thought it said Hollywood Undead, but it said Undead, and the song was called Hollywood. He said Hollywood Undead, and I was like, oh, that's a cool name. And then just stuck. Why do you guys wear the mask? Um, the masks were a, a visual concept that we had, so it, and that's really all they were meant to be. Um, we only wear them for like a couple songs live. It was just because you know you look at pictures of a band. Now, a lot of the guys in this band are actually very visual and they're artistic and they draw and stuff like that. So when we looked at pictures of us without them, we felt that when we wore the masks, the pictures were much more striking and actually added a whole other aspect to the band, like this animated, like cool side to it that we could we you know we could draw upon. Look. Check this out, bro. And now I have stickers of my face. Wow. Stickers of his face on his phone. That's so That's cool. That's how cocky I am. Yeah, get a shot of that. <laughs> Way cooler than my phone. Hey, cheers, boys. Zoom in on that. Look at that. Hold on. Wait, who's Hold phone? on. 
Whose phone is whose? I don't know. Oh, oh wait. Oh, oh, hey. that, oh, this one's mine, I think, oh, guys. Yours. Is this Charlie's wallet or Funny's wallet? Yeah. <laughs> now, if we didn't wear masks, we wouldn't have these fucking yeah. stickers. So it's for the it's for the phones. That's why you wear it. Yeah, we 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 wore the mask to put them on our phones. I think uh, eventually we read that far ahead. <laughs> now, yeah. do you do you guys think I have the coolest mask, or do you kind of wish you had someone else's mask? That young guy right there, that gentleman, is the one who thinks he has the coolest masks. <laughs> and what do you think? I think it's I think it's pretty cool. Look at his badass tattoos. Wow. That is pretty yeah, he sweet. He's got his own mask tattooed on him. No one's gone that far, so he obviously thinks he has the coolest mask. <laughs> he's not changing that mask oh after that. <laughs> no, it's so awesome. You know, this is a difficult life in a lot of ways. You guys have to travel a lot, be away from family and friends. So, what motivates you to do this day in and day out? Money. Money. <laughs> <laughs> and? More money. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, um, honestly, we have like, on, and I'm not just saying this, I know a lot of bands say this, but our fan base is honestly one of the coolest fan bases and like I actually enjoy doing what I get to do because they come out and it would be really tough if our fans weren't so supportive of uh, the music and didn't believe in it as much as they do because every night I'm like tired I'm it's hard to go on and like we go and play and it's like I I, I milk from that like mm -hmm. they're 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 the reason that I think that we're all capable of doing what we do and why and that's why any band is capable of doing what they have to do to you know to be alive and stuff well, you puppies get. Puppies are really distracting. Yeah. They're so cute. <laughs> Shut up, puppies. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, puppies. I'm doing a story over here. No, um, but you guys do have a lot of fans. But I, I know just reading online, that you guys also have people who don't like you guys, and maybe who would even be called haters or you know people who what trash are? your stuff. Who, who, homie? <laughs> who, homie? Uh, well, I'm one of them. No. Um, so how do you guys respond to that? You just don't respond. Like any band's gonna have people who don't like them. We don't give a. I think the last time we were here, that. Dude from uh, Rev Theory wrote us a MySpace message threatening to kick our ass. And it was right here. And we were all drunk and cold, like, going crazy. Oh, we'll kill him, we'll kill him. But uh, I think that was the most, one of the most annoying things. I don't know. That guy's a pussy, whatever. They're funny to see. It's like when someone's saying something bad about your band, you got so much good stuff. To see one bad thing every once in a while is funny. Like, yeah. You know? So, th hey, thanks, Rev, for the, uh, the good laugh. Laughing all the laughing all the way to the bank, right? <laughs> no, the we money. Don't, we, it's not money. I was kidding. We don't actually make that much money. We make a very good amount, though. Um, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But uh, no, I mean, criticism's criticism, and I honestly think that's just a sign of success and like doing well. The fact that people take their time to even write uh, some comment or say something that's negative against us shows how pathetic they are, not how pathetic I am. Yeah. Because I'm doing the same thing every day. If you hate it that much, then I gotta be doing something right. What do you want people to say about your music? What is Hollywood Undead about? Persevere. I think, yeah. Perseverance. 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 Well, smashing your enemies down and persevering through. Breaking down the walls like the Wall of China. <laughs> like Mongol warriors. Perseverance. Perseverance. Okay. <laughs> We're saying that because we wanted to start a hardcore band as a side project with the guys from Atreya. Uh -huh. That seems to be what they talk about. But I, I think Hollywood... Uh, <laughs> he doesn't really know what's going on. Hollywood Undead is just kind of... To me, it's I, it's our story. It's like our life mm -hmm. so far, you know? And it's like that record was a culmination of growing up together and going through the things we went to. The second record's probably going to be a lot different because we already wrote about that part of our life. So now that's all it's ever going to be is, you know, a lot of the songs on that record we went through the thing we're talking about the day before it mm -hmm. and that's I think the goal of Hollywood and Dead to be as honest as you can because I think that's what fans relate to and that's what they can understand because they may be going through the same exact thing and it's about perseverance. Where do you guys want to take this? Where do you see yourself a year from now and then maybe 10 years from now you want to do this for the rest of your life? Probably coked out in some rehab center. <laughs> in prison? No, I better not. Oh, I hope not. A rehab center is better. They feed you better. They're yeah. like more caring. You also do rehab out by the beach too, which is kind of yeah, nice. Yeah. yeah. There's no jails at the beach, right? I think so. Oh, you're that one's kind of close over in OC. <laughs> okay. That's true. That was a nice jail that I was in. I was in the nicest jail, but I don't know. I mean, all like we're gonna make another record and we're gonna keep doing what we do. And as long as people are there that care about it as much as we do, then we'll keep going. The day that they stop, we'll stop probably. What has been your never dreamed in a million years moment since all this started? Making love to girls. Oh yeah. Every night? 
if I'm horny. She was in the lead last night, which is kind of, kind of funny. Yeah, this girl last night said uh, she was I, she was so drunk. She's like, we we're at a bar, and she's like, I swear I would have fucked you, but I'm too drunk. I have to leave, and like couldn't even stand up. I had to get her a cab and shit. And I was like, well, there's another missed opportunity at the Poon, bro. Being, being a good man. Hawaii though, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, when we get back, we're all me and my boys here and their chicks, and I'm I think I'm gonna take that drunk girl. To Hawaii just to see what what kind of shit goes down on the beach. You guys ever get in any trouble as a band? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> I think our crew guys get in just as much trouble as we do, if not more. He's laughing right there. What does your crew do? Uh, after we all go to bed, they get real wasted and try to wrestle us out of all of our bunks. Like, they go to strip clubs, spend a lot of money and stuff like that. Yeah, they're way worse than we are. <laughs> yeah, the band, like on days off, we all like chill in the rooms we like rent movies and hang out they go to like strip clubs this dude our sound guy's always going to mexico and like <laughs> banging hookers with aids without a condom god knows what wow <laughs> Sorry, crazy. one hell of a, a sound guy you got there it takes some guts though you gotta admit well, he makes it sound pretty so i mean we never we never get mad and do whatever he just wants. got laid by some tj hooker over the border <laughs> they, got, they need the stress relief <laughs> <laughs> You can't see it, but he's giving the finger right now, so I can kind of guess this one, but with all these great personalities you have here, do you guys ever fight? Yeah, I think everybody, because we've been friends for so long that everybody kind of knows each other's moods. Like, I'm a moody dude, like, in the morning and stuff, so people know that, and they leave me alone in the morning. And then after a few hours, I'm like, hey, guys, blah, blah, blah. I think everybody knows each other so good that the fights stay to a minimum. Um... I think you're right. We don't. What, what's the we most epic argue. fight you guys have had, though? It's these two guys. They got to fight in New Orleans. <laughs> New Orleans. <laughs> what fool? You want to go at it again? I know. I filmed, dog. Right <laughs> Drunk and it's so. Retar Anyways. Started wrestling. Let's not. No, let's not get into details because we're gonna disagree on them. But that wasn't the first time either. After we filmed, he kept. Five. He kept. Oh, come on. No, no, no. Come on. It's this is funny. Life. No, it's not. It's dude. <laughs> Are you just no, talking no, about? No, no. You, I don't want you telling people. <laughs> no, don't. Someone, no. <laughs> gonna have a fight right here. No, no, honestly, no. Because some of these things should be. I want some personal okay, life, okay. but this is Kip, but one that after the number five video shoot too, we yeah. we were on Hollywood and we filmed number five, the number five video. Uh huh. And we're on like this hill. There's a park right up the street from my, our house, and we're like on the hill and we started arguing. We started like wrestling each other. Also in Canada. One time during a whole song, I just kept giving him the middle finger, going blah 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 blah, because I didn't care. That I was so annoyed. Because he, he was uh, accusing me of doing something, and I was like, "What are you doing?" And he's like, blah, 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 blah. He's like, "All right, whatever, dude." <laughs> I'm gonna start a fight right here between you guys. Fuck that. I think he's gonna get mad at me after this interview. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. All, right. All right. I love you. I love, I love you, you baby. There we go. All right. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> <laughs> You all right? I thought I thought it was a spider. You guys ever have any embarrassing moments on stage? And this maybe you have something funny that's happened to someone else too. Well, I've fallen down a lot. Like you can't help it. Like just eating shit. I, I guess. Charles embarrasses himself every day, even when he goes up and sings with the tray. No, I encourage all children to look at the curls on YouTube and look what he does live, and then you can wonder why he's in a band There's just like I do. <laughs> Did you see that uh, that interview in Canada? They used one of those pictures. Where he does the, where he makes the gay wall. He looks like a. Can you turn that camera over there for me? Wait. He looks like the gay oh, hamburger no. from McDonald's. Oh, the car would come out right now. I know, right? Wait, no, uh, wait, he's reversing. He's reversing. Wait. Okay. Let's get this. Wait. 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 Oh my God! Just bad timing. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna kill that guy in the green van. He's like the Loch Ness monster. He's like a myth. I'm surprised he exists. <laughs> oh, we're getting him. There he is. There he is. Wow. There he is. Girl. <laughs> what did he say? Are you talking about me again? <laughs> I'm in the clear. I bought him a chicken sandwich today, so I can say whatever the fuck I want about him. Speaking of this interview's cut on, I'm gonna have to let you guys finish this without me. All right, she's take about off. to fly out of here. All right, peace, peace out. Peace the nice. Party. Thanks for your time. <laughs> And now we're down to two. What do you guys think about the music scene? I know I've heard people say it's dying or, uh, you know, record sales are down. How do you guys feel about that? We are fans of it, honestly. I would give our record away if we could because the only people who get money from record sales are the record label anyway. So yeah. it's like, F them. So um, it's more about the concerts for you guys and the people who show up? Yeah, the shows and like meeting the, the people who care about your music and stuff like that. That's vital for me because, you know, regardless of our 
uh, personalities. You know, I like to joke around and stuff. We actually take what we do very seriously, and we're all really good at what we do. So, for someone else to care about that is important to me. If they, if no one cared, I really would just say, be like, all right, well. I'm gonna go back to college or whatever. Do you have an interesting story in how someone treated you because they found out or because they knew you were in Hollywood Undead? I got his dick sucked like ten times. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, I have some friends back home that are just kind of. I mean, I wouldn't. I don't know. Friends I haven't talked to in years. They'll come up and start acting all, you know. Oh, you're too cool now. It's like I never talked to you in the first place. So how are you gonna come <laughs> up to me and? Yeah, yeah. Dick sucked by like ten bitches. Wow. Quite an accomplishment there. I mean, is it kind of awkward with your he friends? Didn't really, he didn't really. He's got a girlfriend. He's oh, okay. faithful, but um, I would say out of all, yeah, I would say what he said. Like people that you weren't really friends with in the first place come to you like, oh, you've changed and you're like this now. It's like, what are you fucking talking about? We didn't even talk for two years. You're not my friend, you know. And so I think your your group kind of becomes smaller. Like my friends, like people I consider close to me has definitely like kind of contracted and stuff like that. The funny thing is people always say like, oh, you, you've changed, you've changed. But I think they're the ones who have actually changed and they're mad about something. It's like, it's just weird, dude. It's a weird phenomenon. This interview is getting a little too deep. It is, yeah, it's kind of like a 2020 episode. Yeah, dude. Hollywood Undead. I would love to go on 2020. I got some shit to say for sure. <laughs> but after Rihanna? Did you watch that the other night? No. Oh man, she, she went off. Why is Rihanna on 2020? Because Chris Brown beat her up. I wish someone would beat yeah. my ass if that was possible, so I can get on. That's even possible. <laughs> you could hire all these fucking people. I'll probably no. still whoop on them. Do you guys like the spotlight? Do you enjoy the crowds and the the pictures and the music videos, all that stuff? I would say sometimes. Sometimes it's a pain in the ass, but sometimes it's really cool. It, it's just it depends what mood I'm in and stuff mm -hmm. like that. If I'm buzzed, I really like it. But when I'm like sober and I have to do something, I'm like, oh, <laughs> fuck. What do your parents think about this? Fuck that, I don't give a fuck. They're having a blast with it. His parents are more like my parents than my own. I love Joanne and Paco. But, uh, no, I'm just kidding. I don't know if they think, I, my mom loves it, I can tell you that. She goes to our shows and like sings all these nasty lyrics. I'm like, it's kind of gross. I didn't predict my mom singing this. Would you want your parents singing your lyrics? Absolutely, well some of the songs, sure, but some of them when it's talking about dicks and panties and shit, and I see my mom going like, <laughs> Just like, ugh. Oh my God. Go home. When do you guys think you'll go to work on a new album or put out some new stuff? Well, we got to go to Europe after this tour, but I think after that is when we'll start. It depends. Yeah. But I think we'll have a new album out for sure in 2000. What's next year? 10. <laughs> oh, 10. Don't worry, there's plenty more where that came from. Come with me behind the scenes, backstage, and onto the tour bus to meet your favorite stars. We are backstage with Slipknot. I am here with my good friend, the American Idol, Chris Allen. I'll ask questions you've never heard before and show you the answers you won't find anywhere else. You said you're a Justin Timberlake fan. No. No? No. Maybe that wasn't you? Uh, Oh my god, I shouldn't have smoked all that weed. What do you like about Katy Perry? Everything. Happy so birthday, dear Bri. Huge meaning or self-defining sort of thing. I think we just lost one of our interviews. Rate, comment, and subscribe for new videos every week. Reporting for YouTube, I'm Brian O'Dell. Brian Stars! Brian Stars! I'm the reason you're, you go on tour. You're the reason I'm here, baby.